Welcome to Gardening with Nanay. Hi friends. Today is a special day for all mothers. So I want to greet everybody. Happy Mother's Day. And today is another special day for my garden because I want to share with you what's growing in my garden. And um, because we had rainy day uh, for a couple of days so it it's really exciting to to show you what has grown in my garden so i want i just want to share with you uh, my perennials and uh, what's growing in my greenhouse so let's go see well, this is my working table where i I work on most of the time but now it's full of growing growing tomatoes and some some long beans um, the only thing growing here are the long beans or the sitao so I'll keep them warm I'll cover them up Um, some gladiolus growing on the other side are um, Chinese cabbage these are okra more okra these are cosmos Sweet kisses. I have some cinia there. I have some teddy bear sunflower. I have some Chinese cabbage. I have some marigolds. And these are spinach. And I have some morning glory. Outside of the greenhouse is the apple tree. It's a honey crisp. It's looking better. The bud has break out and I see some beautiful blooms. Ladybug. And under the tree, I have some oriental onions. Luscious, comfrey. And I have a waste bed here that grows garlic. tree starting to bloom now on this side is some crates food crates and there's some garlic growing from, I grew this from 
the garlic escapes. So it's basically garlic seeds last year. But they look good right now. So I'm quite happy about that. This one is called the Creeping Jenny. It's really beautiful once it grows a lot. These are also growing. More creeping Jenny for me. Love them. Some more lilies. And a dandelion that I have to pull out later. And that's an oriental poppy. It has orange bloom. Plant will be a surprise for me because I don't know what it is. It does look like a daisy to me if I would just compare it to my daisies, my Shasta daisy. But I'll let it grow and find out. On this side is something new in my garden. It's um. A double bloom anemone and it's white and still on my backyard is this plum tree it has been here it hasn't really given us a lot of fruit so hopefully this year will be better it's it's a matter of uh, the right pollination and pollinating. I'm pretty hopeful this year for this plum tree. my front yard this is the front yard right now some are still covered it's still cold but here is my grape tree grape vine I mean it's somewhat growing I have some lily on that some weeds Daisy. This one is a day lily. Has an orange bloom. On this bag is still messy. Nothing particular yet, but I have some multi scrolls growing, some sunflowers. On this bag is here some peony. It has a bush of pink bloom. And here's some double flowering anemone. It's really doing so well. See that bloom coming out? Some oriental onion. Coming out to some animal, more peony. It's very important to support peony because it gets so heavy. So I use this old, old uh, wire shelf, plant shelf that is kind of awkward to put pots in so I cut it into halves and made it into my peonies support you can see
see here. That's the other half of the shelf. Some peonies growing from seeds. More oriental onion. I mean, oh no, these are um, the perennial onion. Uh, an Egyptian onion. <laughs> Get mixed up sometimes. Uh, this bed is empty at the moment. Um, I might plant some carrots in there. And this is um, a strawberry bed. It's really looking great. Has some beautiful bloom. strawberry bed because I covered them up with plastics for a couple of weeks to give them a, a head start now let's peek inside this bed there's some luscious chives poppy, oriental poppy, and some peas growing in there. And I'm waiting for the corn to come out. There's some strawberries out here. And this is an apple tree. those rocks oh, and there's also a growing rose right there that's um, a poppy I think it's an Alaskan poppy it has some blue onion this bed is quite bare at the moment but things are growing oriental onion grapevine Monica Shasta Daisy Flower, a purple bloom, and some sweet William right here. It needs to be fixed. We have some Maltese Cross, yellow blue stripe, some chives. Last but not the least is the star of the garden. Especially today that it's Mother's Day. And this shrub is called Double Flowering Plum. And I got it a couple of years ago on Mother's Day. It's so beautiful. like cherry blossom and it's just in my yard Beautiful 
double flowering plum. Happy Mother's Day! I hope you enjoyed today's video. I would love to share with you about my gardening, my garden, and my beautiful flowers. Happy Mother's Day! Bye! See you on the next video!